Neolamarchism, the concepts and theories regarding the origin and evolution of organisms so far discussed are not totally satisfied. Theories which are accepted today may be wrong tomorrow. And many of the concepts and theories are modified and changed after deeper researches have been carried out in course of time. Similarly, the theories of Lamarckism and Darwinism have been discussed by many scientists and the shortcomings are shown and improved. We shall now discuss the new developed theories of Lamarckism and Darwinism. Lamarckism, also known as the theory of inheritance of acquired characters, can be defined as the changes in structure or function of any organ acquired during the lifetime of an individual in response to changes in the environmental surroundings. This is inherited by its offspring and keeps on adding up over a period of time. The changes are because of use and disuse as demanded by the environmental pressure. Lamarckism has many drawbacks. This is evident from the experiments carried out by Weissman in which he mutilated the tails of white rats and matted them but found no loss of tail in succeeding generations. Muller experimented the role of X-rays in producing heritable variations in Drosophilia. That revealed the changes in the chromosome structure. Likewise, C. Auerbach, in collaboration with Robinson and Carr, produced heritable changes in Drosophilia by using a chemical mutagen, master gas. Limitations of Lamarckism, as were well shown by many researchers, led to the formation of a new school of thought that support evidences in support of Lamarckism. Thus, neo Lamarckians proved that, number one, germ cells are influenced by the environmental changes, number two, Germ cells may carry acquire or somatic variations to the offspring. Number three, germ cells may be affected directly by the environmental pressure. Number four, somatic traits are the product of nature and nurture, that is, genes and environment interaction. This infers that environment affect the gene expression of organisms. Thus, we have seen that the difference in viewpoint of Lamarckism and Neo-Lamarckism was that Lamarck believed in the direct action of environment which he thought was responsible for achieving that perfection of the individual, Neo-Lamarckians modified the concept. They are of the view that a considerable time or period is required to act up to the level of germ cells that produce visible and invisible threats. The theory of natural selection, or Darwinism, is a breakthrough in the history of evolution. According to this theory, in a species, there are individuals that differ genetically from one another as a result of which their ability to adapt and survive to different environments differs.
Nessar is the causative force that sorts out bad adapted ones replaced by base and their progeny is spread. In this course of nature's scrutiny, the threats that signs and adapted are selected by nature and the bad ones screen out. However, Darwinism also has certain drawbacks. He did not know the mechanism of inheritance. He lacked emphasis on individual variation and lacked clarity in accounting the sources of variation and ignored the role of recombination. This led to the formation of a new school of thought in the middle of the 20th century by combining all sources of knowledge from genetics, paleontology, ecology and others. Edward O. Dodson and David J. Merrill called this new theory of evolution is New Darwinism. The new concept of evolution is the product of two rival camps of thought. One, supporting the traditional Darwinian view, centering around natural selection as a key role player of evolution, and the second camp, centering around the central role of mutation and a whole new branches of science. The synthesis of these two camps led to the formation of modern synthetic theory of evolution, Therefore, the theory has two stages of process, natural selection, whereby genetic differences in some individuals lead to their higher productive success and production and redistribution of variation which are genetically influenced differences between individuals which are inherited. In order to understand the modern concept of evolution, one has to study and understand the short-term events of evolution called microevolution, the slow accumulation of changes seen and unfold in every generation. Using such the modern population genetics perspective, we define evolution as a change in LED frequency from one generation to the next. It may be mentioned that LEDs are the alternative forms of genes that occurs at the same locus. The synthetic theory considers evolution to be the result of changes in the gene frequencies of populations that produces variation. Following other important factors of modern synthetic theory evolution, number one factor, natural selection. This is a process of nature in which continuation of one line of organisms which are selected and the elimination of another from the evolutionary record thereby making changes in the gene frequency of the population. Through this process of natural selection, some genotypes in a population develop advantage over others in fertility and viability that leads to a change in gene frequency of the population. The proportion of offspring a genotype contributes to the next generation is the Darwinian finish, used by reproductive capacity. Factor number two, mutation. The change in the genetic material of an organism results in the formation of new threats, thereby producing variations in the population of the organism, such as change in the DNA sequence is called mutation.
The majority of mutations are thought to occur because of occasional mismatching of the sequences of the chemical bases that makes the DNA. Though most of the changes through mutation are harmful, some of the changes are selected by nature. Some are eliminated and some are neutral in selection. The degree of severity of the effect of mutation is based on pledge, where the DNA regulates the production of proteins. All this lead to change in the gene frequency of a population. One interesting case is of industrial melanism, in which grey moths, which they are adapted more than the black moths before pre-industrialization, become adaptive after industrialization, after which the tree trunks become darker and the black moths are less seen to their predators from attack. Number three factor, genetic drift. It refers to the various random processes that affect gene frequencies in a small, relatively isolated populations. The isolation may be because of social factors, as in the case of a religious sect of Dunkers who immigrated from Germany to the United States of America in the early 1700s. As a result, blood group and other genetic tracts of the Dunkers are genetically drifted away from the parental population Dunkers in Germany. Factor number four, gene flow. Gene flow is a process by which genes from one gene pool or populations of a species may be brought into another population. Since these flowed genes differ from their initial frequency, they produce changes in the gene pool which receives them. So changes occur through migration and hybridization. The next topic is difference between Darwinism and New Darwinism. Let's try to see how New Darwinism and Darwinism differs. Number one point of difference. Unit of evolution is a population, not species, as is mentioned in Darwinism, because species are subdivided into local populations. Number two, it is the gene pool of the population that evolves and not the individual level. Number three, differences among individuals in a population are the consequences from accumulation of mutations and recombination of genes due to independent assortment, crossing over, and fertilization. These reasons of variations are not known to Darwin. Understanding of modern theory of evolution needs knowledge of molecular genetics. Students shall attempt to know the basic knowledge of it, without which they will pass handicap in understanding the theory.